Well, tonight, a lawmaker, community members, and a former inmate on death row coming together at a Tulsa church. The group held a public forum on the case and conviction of death row inmate Richard Glossop. Now, he's been on death row for nearly two decades after he was convicted in a murder for hire plot to kill Oklahoma City motel owner Barry Van Treese in 1997. But now Glossop has a team behind him advocating for another look at his case. Two News Oklahoma reporter Caitlin Rivas was at that forum. Sharon, the takeaway from today's public forum is many people believe Richard Glossop is an innocent man wrongly sentenced to death. And today we were actually able to tell the congregation some of the things that are wrong, such as there's an entire box of evidence that the state has destroyed and nobody's been held accountable for it. For three years, Oklahoma State Representative Kevin McDougall has advocated for the release of death row inmate Richard Glossop. He says if Glossop were to get another trial now, he would not be found guilty. When this came across my desk, I knew that if I didn't fight for it, once I saw that he was innocent, nobody else is going to. And so the weight of that weighed on me, and I knew that if I didn't take action, that no one else is going to step in and that he'd be put to death. Herman Lindsay also believes Glossop is innocent. Lindsay was on death row in Florida for three years before he was exonerated. He founded an organization that advocates against the death penalty. The death penalty being intact, there's no guarantee that you won't kill an innocent person. So we have witnessed the innocence. We try to make sure that we can support uh, everyone we can because we know how it feels to be on death row and for something we didn't do. Many at tonight's forum believe that's Glossop's reality. He's a member of the Boston Avenue First United Methodist Church, which hosted the forum. Representative McDougall says what happens to Glossop will set a precedent in the state of Oklahoma. If Richard Glossop's put to death and I've sworn and I will continue to stick to it, I'll fight against the death penalty in the state of Oklahoma. We'll have to shut it down because we've executed an innocent man. How can you continue at that point? Meanwhile, Attorney General John O'Connor said earlier this month that multiple courts have reviewed the Glossop case and affirmed the original ruling. He says he looks to the courts to carefully review this latest appeal. Governor Kevin Stitt issued a 60-day stay for the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals to review the case. Live in studio, Caitlin Rivas, 2 News, Oklahoma.